Uh, good day everybody. Welcome uh, to Dragon Fruit South Africa. Uh, just an um, informal video just to show that we had such beautiful rain. Everything is so green and you know, the grass is growing and the dragon fruits are very um, fattening up quite a bit. Um, I'm just like scanning through yeah, um, I had an American Beauty uh, flowering and there's a the little fruit sitting at the back um, of the flower. It was the only flower that actually opened so far. That was the first first one to go. And um, yeah, uh, we've, we've actually had like, yeah, not many flowers yet. Um, we have a bit of a problem with um, like a little small beetle that's like eating the the young buds we've already got like a, a, a what did they call it um, a type of a poison that we use um, that's not systemic it won't be caught up by the plant and uh, you see everywhere that you can see there's dragon fruit growing like all over the trees and over there and against the wall over there is just like dragon fruit everywhere. I've got so many cultivars that's just like doing so well. Yeah, I've um, yeah, we were quite happy with um, the results. Also, with the, I'm actually glad that we planted uh, the time that we we did because um, we got like a very good success rate with the cuttings you know and this white net really makes a big difference just to break like a little bit of sun sunlight and um, the cuttings were planted about two weeks ago and we can already see like little leaves pushing out there's one there there's one like showing new growth there very very beautiful and um yeah, like I said, we had good, good rain, and there's a lot of success rate of, of the cuttings, and this filtration of, of um, this netting is fantastic, it really makes like a huge difference, you know, filters out all of those harmful rays that might like damage your plants and stuff. I can see there's a lot of, um, there are, however, you always get like a few that does not does not cut it you know and even if it turns yellow like this one I'll just leave it because normally at a, sta a certain stage it will just like push a new branch um, from the bottom and the other ones they look quite good they really look quite good and um, yeah this is some new beautiful growth um, if we look at this one over here these new branches there. We've we've actually got a few that's like um, starting to flower because this is the flowering season for dragon fruit um, in South Africa. It's no, normally around October, right through to um, uh, the next year, which is our summer season. Is like over um, four months, about four six months. Out. we've got good weather in South Africa um, our cold actually starts around May month then we're going to fall and then it's winter time um, but yeah look at how beautiful everything is just pushing out new new growth um, th this little orchard just like my back garden um, they are not very specific you know oh, um, what I actually mean is that you know this this small space they, it's not really you know planted like very very insanely according to book they're actually just like uh, planted like a centimeter deep and uh, they're looking quite well and uh, I must say that I'm uh, a lot of the success I would say is coming from the rain 
and um, you know the rainwater contains ozone and um, it's actually washing like uh, actually sterilizing you know a lot of bacterial um, effects or bacterial problems that might occur when you plant like new plants in the soil um, it doesn't have a rooting system yet to protect himself to protect the plants so yeah the ozone just wash away all the bacteria and sterilize the water and it makes it very very easy growable